What's going on guys, welcome to the video. As you can see on the screen, we're going to be discussing Jess Phillips, and this is relating to a couple of stories about her both today and yesterday. Earlier this morning, she has admitted something we already knew long ago. That is, of course, that she probably won't win the Labour leadership contest, but she claims it's because of her awful performance at the first hustings, where she is reported as saying, I probably won't win, but I am guessing that I might just inspire others to give it a go too. What? So you getting absolutely trounced at this stage during the competition is going to inspire others to do it. But it has to be said, another reason why Jess Phillips likely wouldn't win the Labour leadership, and if she did, would only cement Labour's position as a shit kicker party with no chance of getting in government. This is of course relating to something she said on Sophie Ridge on Sunday, during a pre-recorded interview that was aired yesterday, with Sky News themselves running an article saying Jess Phillips urges men to pass the mic on Labour leadership. Of the five candidates in the race, Shadow Brexit Secretary and early frontrunner Sir Keir Starmer is the only man. And naturally, Jess Phillips has a big problem with that, because in her radical feminist view, she thinks the Labour leadership candidates should only be women so that women can win. Because as you will all agree, the feminist narrative that she subscribes to is highly condescending to women, considering them unable to compete against men or the so-called patriarchy. Which we all know is something Jess is a great fan of blaming for everything that goes wrong in her miserable, insignificant life. Now we'll read for a little bit of this article and then we'll take a look at the short clip that they have included with it. The interview itself was 15 minutes long or so and contained 99% dribble. It says, Labour leadership challenger Jess Phillips, well, calling her a challenger for the Labour leadership is definitely being generous. I would consider her a candidate or a spectator since she is not going to win, even though I would absolutely love it if she did. We all live in reality, we know that it's not likely to happen, to the point where I am almost certain. She has urged men to pass the mic on the top job, arguing it would be embarrassing if Labour failed to elect a woman. No, what will be embarrassing is you electing someone who is not the best, much like you clearly did when you elected Jeremy Corbyn, you bunch of idiots. The prominent backbencher warned it would look bad and also hand ammunition to political opponents who were laughing at us. Well, I can definitely tell you 99% of your opponents won't be laughing at you because you have a man as the leader, that is for sure. Maybe the Liberal Democrats might because they are the definition of wokeness, but the rest of the country and the world are not laughing at you. Most of them don't care and the ones that do, I'm sure would want you to elect the best person for the job not because she has a vagina. I mean, take a look at what the last Conservative female Prime Minister did. She's not exactly loved, is she? Unlike the Conservatives, Labour has never had a female leader. And the only people that seems to matter to is Labour, namely the women in Labour, who, it would seem, are just not good enough to get there on their own merits. Of the five candidates running, we don't care about that. We know there's just one man in it. Asked how it would look if Labour again elected a man as leader, Miss Phillips told Sky News' Sophie Ridge on Sunday programme, it would be true to form. What, true to form of them electing who they think is best, rather than just electing a vagina? Because that's what you want them to do. Never mind whether the person's best for the job, Jess, just elect their vagina because they have a vagina. It can be nothing more than that, it seems, in Jess Phillips' world. She said the Labour Party has a blind spot in this regard. It always has. It's genuinely frustrating because it does a disservice to the Labour Party's record on women. But I think it would look bad. No, it will just look bad in your mind, and of course the minds of rabid feminists and Twitter shit weasels that Jess seems to think is the whole country, or at least speaks for them. Which maybe explains why Jess is doing so piss poor in the Labour leadership contest. Because maybe even most of Labour's membership has had enough of her constant screeching about every single oppression the world has ever known. The last election proved most of this country has already had enough of that shit. She continued, I think it will be embarrassing. It gives absolute grist to the mill and ammunition to our other side. 
I have had Tory members of Parliament laughing at us after the last time. No, they were probably just laughing at you because you elected Jeremy Corbyn, you complete idiot. I expect it has nothing to do with their gender, you imbecile. Let's be honest, the Tories are not far off the wokeness of Labour, and definitely weren't during the 2017 election campaign. That is for sure. It's not great if we can't ever seem to think that the women are good enough. When you're a woman in politics, you're always the next time. Oh, it'll be your turn next time. Except for, of course, Theresa May, Joe Swinson, Nicola Sturgeon, Margaret Thatcher, you know, the other female leaders of former parties and prime ministers, Jess. You talking absolute shit. And rather than me continuing to read it, let's actually hear what she had to say in this minute-long clip that we have here with her lovely face on it. When you're a woman in politics... You're always the next time. Oh, it'll be your turn next time. When you're a woman in politics, it's always like, you're always told we have to pick the best person for the job, as if that best person, what they, they never mean the best person. They often mean the best man. And that is disappointing. Do you think men need to step aside sometimes? I think that if you truly believe in women's representation, Sometimes, and that, that goes not just for just women in the way that that intersects in other areas, that sometimes passing the mic is the greatest way to show that you truly believe in something. But I think it's a very, very difficult argument to say you should stand back if you truly believe you're the best person for the job. Well, that was an absolute shit show. And did you see the pause when she was asked if men should step back? She really wanted to go full feminist and say, yes, the patriarchy has been giving them a step up the whole way. Now it's time they took a step back and let us women lead them into the oblivion. Because that's what people like Jess Phillips will undoubtedly do. You see during the interview her looking around a few times, trying to think of something to say that she hoped wouldn't be too offensive towards men. Because even this plank knows she needs men to vote for her in order to become the Labour leader, and if she was the Labour leader, she would once again need men to vote for her so she could become Prime Minister. But we already know that's never gonna happen. But it should be pointed out, could you imagine if a Tory or Brexit party or any male MP sat there and said women should step aside to give men a better chance of doing this and that? It would be absolutely incredible and people like Jess Phillips would be screaming from the rooftops about the patriarchal oppression women suffer in the United Kingdom, despite having exactly the same rights and chances as everybody else. And actually, when I think about it, in my experience, women have a few more rights that I don't even enjoy. But then again, just talking shit is nothing new, is it? So we shouldn't really be surprised by that. Now, the article also picks up on something else she said during the interview, where she also rejected the suggestion she was an Uber Remainer, having campaigned for a second referendum and said there was no bid to rejoin the EU when we all heard her a few weeks ago saying she would campaign to rejoin the EU if she thought it was what's best, completely pissing on everyone who voted to leave in 2016. And now she's obviously had to backtrack on it, as we saw more recently than the video i done covering it. And it says here, the MP for Birmingham Yardley was recently forced to backtrack after she indicated she might try to take Britain back into the block, if Brexit turned out to be damaging. And we're not going to bother reading through what she said there. I did a video on it at the time. And the rest of it's there. None of it really matters. What really matters is the utter bullshit she comes out with, saying that men should step aside to give women a chance. As I've said, it's terribly condescending to women, not towards men. It's condescending towards women. And you would think a feminist like Jess would see that. But actually, no, you wouldn't. Because these rabid feminists are clearly not using their brain. How you could think it was a good idea to sit on TV and say that, especially given what happened at BBC Question Time last week, with Lawrence Fox shitting on the woke narrative, and of course the audience applauding, and his Twitter following growing massively, with people who support what he had to say, regardless of what the lefty losers might try and say. Unfortunately, we won't have Jess Phillips, it seems, as Labour leader but she will still be there in Parliament, giving us our little golden nuggets to go over. Much like this one, it's absolutely incredible, as I said, that she come out and said this shit, 
But in the same right, maybe it's not so surprising because we all know it's Jess Phillips. She is so full of shit, anything is possible. She is only rivaled, I would say, by Joe Swinson and Ian Blackford, possibly. But on that note, I will end the video there, guys. As some of you will know, I have started doing live streams and uploading gaming content on my second channel. If you are interested in joining me for a chat in real time during one of my live streams, have an interest in gaming related content on YouTube, or simply want to follow me over there because you are a legend, the link to subscribe will be down in the video description and as a pinned comment. I hope to see you all there. Now as always, I want to thank our YouTube, PayPal, Patreon and Subscribestar members for supporting the channel, along with everyone who watches my videos. Remember to let me know what you guys think down in the comments section below, leave a like, subscribe with the notification bell and share this video as it helps the channel a lot, and I'll see you all in the next one. There is a pattern consistent throughout history of oppressed people turning on the oppressors. Slaves against their owners, the peasantry against the feudal barons, colonies, Mr. Verhofstadt, against their empires. And that is why Britain is leaving. And it doesn't matter which language you use, we are going and we are glad to be going. We're off. Ramon! Ramon!